Welcome to this video about how to use QuickTime to edit videos, to combine clips into one, and also to do the same thing for audio clips. It's really the same for audio or video. So we'll start with video. So here you can see that I'm inside this um, video clip. Now what I'm gonna do is, once you've opened the video clip that you wanna add to another clip, what you really want to do is make sure that you're starting with the clip that's going to be first. So if you're going to combine multiple clips together, grab the one that's going to be the first one. Don't worry about whether it needs to be trimmed or whether or not you want to use the whole video. QuickTime does all of that. And of course, QuickTime is free. Yay. All right. So at the top here, you can see I've got the QuickTime player up on the top left. If you don't see QuickTime player up at the top left, you've done something wrong. You aren't going to be able to continue following along with me in this video. So <laughs> that's your first step. Now, of course, we're trying to edit this video here. So we're going to click on the edit button and you can see here where it says add clip to end. So we're going to add together all the clips that we want. So you got to find the video that you want. Um, it's not in my desktop. It's uh, we'll look for a video in my downloads. Where are my videos here? Oh, here's a video of me. Uh, that's a really long one that might take a minute to load. Let me see if I can find a quick little guy that I can just add in here to sort of show you how this works. Eh, 25 minutes, whatever. Okay, we'll choose it. So you can see along the bottom here, we've got the first clip, which is the one you're seeing the screenshot of. And then we've got this other clip that is um, here as well. So now if you want to keep adding clips after, so we've got first clip, second clip. If you want to add another clip after, all you need to do is make sure your second clip is yellow highlighted like this and you do the exact same thing. You go up to edit and you click on insert clip after selection and you keep doing that and you can add more and more and more videos, uh, different, you know, separate videos together into one video. Now there's nothing fancy here. You can't do any fancy transitions. You can't layer sound over it. Like I'm a huge fan of Wii video. Um, wevideo.com. That's the platform that I love to use, but I needed to find a way for fempreneurs to be able to edit videos for free right in their, you know, Mac computers or their laptops, whatever. So you're going to keep doing that. And then once you've got all of your clips here that you want, then you can actually go into these clips and you can trim them. Now imagine if there was a chunk in the middle of this clip here, this yellow clip that you just wanted to remove, right? So just imagine that. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to double click on it. You're going to bring it up to where you want to stop it. And let's say we don't want this middle section right here. You can see my mouse moving back and forth. Let's just say uh, that's not, you know, something we want to put into the final video. So then what we're going to do is we're going to leave it here. Let's just say, you know, we've listened to it and yes, this is where we want to edit it. We're going to hit the trim button. Now you can see that first clip is, is shorter. So let's say we want to add this exact same video right in here, but we don't want the beginning. We only want the end. Here's how you do it. You keep that yellow, right? You go up to the top, you hit edit. I bet you know what I'm going to say. Exactly. Insert clip after selection. So I'm going to go in and find this exact same video, which was actually on my desktop. So how do I get back to my desktop? Oh, over here on the left. So I'm going to go to desktop and I'm going to find that same video. Uh, What's this video? What, am, what is this video even called? I think the video on my desktop that I'm using right now is it's from a while ago. Where is it? Oh, it's this one right here. Okay, so this is the same video. So now I've got the same video two different times in this, um, what do we call it? I don't know, this project, <laughs> this video project. So we're gonna add it and you can see it's added it here. So now, because remember we said we only wanted the end, we don't want this middle section, we drag this over, you know, of course we line it up to where we start talking so we're not in the middle of a sentence and then we hit trim. And now you can see we've got the same video clip twice here, but we've got the beginning of it, we've left out the middle and then we've got the end of it here and then we've got our totally different video. So that, my friends, is how you do it. And of course, if we wanted to go into this video and we wanted to trim the end of it because maybe, you know, we're putting the camera away or we're reaching over and hitting stop, we don't want that. We just trim that up a little bit, move it up just a smidge, and we hit the trim button. Bam. 
done. So now when you hit done, what's going to happen is it's going to save this entire video, all these different clips, exactly how you have them here as one video ready to go for you to put into YouTube or wherever you put things. Um, so yeah. And then when you're going to do audio editing, it's the exact same thing, you guys. Okay. So audio editing, you're going to grab your audio clips. I'm going to hit done. Is it going to save it? I think it's just going to save it. It might take a minute to save, which is fine. It's a pretty big video clip. So my computer's being kind of slow, but anyways, you get the point. We're going to minimize that and let it hang out. And right now what we're going to do in QuickTime Player is we're going to find an audio file that we want to edit. Now I'm going to go into my finder to grab an audio file. So you can see I've got these two different podcasts. Um, these actually I did blend. So this is when I was in Mexico and I was doing little voice recordings while I was, while I was there, bringing everyone up to speed on what the Fempreneur re Retreat was all about in Mexico. So I'm going to click on this one and then I'm going to, because if I double click on this, it's going to default to play in um, Apple Music or something or Apple Podcasts and I don't want that. So I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to say open with QuickTime Player. And now I've got it open here. Oh, uh, I don't want to change the name of it. That's cool. So same thing, guys, right? You've got your podcast or your audio, whatever that you want to edit. You want to combine it with some different clips. Maybe you want to add an intro and an outro to a podcast episode, which is what I use this for all the time. You hit your edit button and you add clip to end. And now I'm going to go into, and it's not on my desktop. It's actually in my downloads. And you can see it's called Day 2 Podcast. I'm going to click that, choose Media, and bam, it's put it there. So same as before, you can double you can, um, you can can double click on this and you can edit it. And then you can double click on this second part and you can edit it. You can trim whatever you have. You can add more clips and more clips to the end. And then when you're done, you hit the Done button and it makes it one audio clip. All right? I hope you enjoy using this video to make awesome videos and podcast episodes for free. And yeah, um, if you want to check out more awesome video and audio editing stuff and all the marketing things that I love, love, love to teach, go to yycfempreneurs.com. All right. Bye for now.